Well, howdy. How are we doing? Happy Friday. This just came out uh, really crazy and it's uh, kind of excited, but it's kind of scary because it's, it's bringing back a whole bunch of what's going on. I've been talking about this for a really long time about what's going on with these iBuyer platforms and what that really means to you. <sighs> All that does is ultimately it hurts everybody, including the consumer, because when you have iBuyers in the process, in the mix, they're, they have so much money that they don't care about the buyers. And I know you're like, well, I own a house, so why do I care? Well, when they come in and they buy their houses at market, yeah, the seller gets a little bit more money off of it, maybe because there's all these other fees, but then you don't really know what the market is what the market would bear because if you're just going with one buyer and he's saying well this is what the house is worth then you have to kind of trust him or that buyer right and if you're working with an i buyer like open door or what zillow was doing or what redfin was doing who just got out of the market or what blackrock is doing you're just trusting in them that they're telling you what the market is and you can go to zillow and they'll tell you it's worth x but you never really know because the zillow algorithm isn't 100 percent and you quite frankly don't know what the market will bear or bring so when the market was going crazy people would sell their houses to these companies and you know if it was worth a million dollars but i could squeak out and get 101.1 million or in this example that I sold, I sold, I listed a house at 1.5 and I sold for 1.9. I listed another house at 1.6 and got almost $2 million for it. So that's what the market bears. When you go to these companies and they say it's worth 1.6, they're going to give you 1.6 and they'll turn around and sell for 1.9. So that's my problem with them. And on top of that, they charge more fees than what we typically charge. And I've been showing you for the last few weeks, I mean months, like almost six months, that Open Door has bought a ton of assets. They have, I don't know, $40 million the last time I checked in assets just in the Bay Area. And they're selling each one of them at a loss right now because they're bleeding money. They're losing millions of dollars in equity. And if you look at this, let me bring this up real quick. Add to stream. There we go. I'm going to bring it so it's a little bit bigger. The CEO just got canned. As well as somebody else. There's another person. So the CFO, Kerry Wheeler, uh, took over as CEO. And then the president also stepped down. They're moving Eric Wu to president of the marketplace, effective immediately. And then um, the president was let go as well. So... A lot of dominoes are falling. They've lost over a billion dollars for their shareholders, for their stakeholders. These types of companies are there for the short term. I understand that. And it kind of sounded like a great idea for a while. And we were kind of looking at it like, oh, this could be our, our, our downfall. But the truth is the, the marketplace is the marketplace. These guys try to be a market maker in a marketplace that had no def definition of it. So when you have a market where you have uh, blind auctioning coming in and people are willing to spend four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars over, this is ultimately going to fail because when the market collapses, like it's doing right now, the companies like this are going to lose money. That's why Redfin is out. That's why Zillow is out. That's why BlackRock is looking at this and kind of walking away. Other Brokerages were even offering to do this now. And there's still little mom and pop investors that are doing this. And if it's something that you want to do, by all means, do it. But understand, you're not going to know what the market really will bear until you get it on the MLS. And that's why realtors are doing well. Um, I haven't really looked at anything else here, but I just wanted to tell you really quickly that is a sure sign that the market is um, going to do some other stuff that we might not be happy about. So taking everything into the wild blue, we're going to talk a little bit more about this on Wednesday. So make sure you take a look and uh, subscribe to the 
down below so you're made aware of when I do my lives, which is Wednesdays at noon. I'm Vito Scarnecchio with the Abitano Group, powered by Compass. And I apologize for looking like this. I just got back from the gym. So this is what I look like when I'm at the gym. We'll see you out there.